Okay, pardon the water bottle. Uh, I'm using it as a phone stand because we're just low budget like that. And uh, that's how we roll. Use what we got for what we got when we got. Uh, we got a couple trying to round up money here. Uh, there seems to be an issue. Uh, there's an argument ensuing amongst the kids. mistaken there's an old Le Mans sitting back here oh we got a couple runners Ice cream exclusive while we're out here running routes. Uh, the 
gentleman in front of us has ran approximately a half mile, took a couple breaths, and uh, he is not going to miss the ice cream truck. This guy is serious track, track uh, potential, material, definitely track material. Uh, he cleared the half mile in about, I'm going to say, eight seconds. So stay right with us. Things you see on an ice cream truck. And we'll go from there. Customers served by all in ice cream and ice cream truck adventures, and that's what we're out here doing this for. Uh, we just a couple stops ago, I didn't get it on film, but uh, there's a little little guy, uh, 10 years old, roundabout. Uh, he's on dialysis, and the only thing he can have is sugar free, so we definitely provide uh, sugar free snow cones. And they absolutely, it just, it's the highlight of his day and ours. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, how are we doing today? <laughs> See the pictures? You got this, you got five. for stuff, looking for people, cars, trucks, motorcycles, snowmobiles, mopeds, what we got back here, not much, but yeah, I mean, when you're running routes, uh, like I was explaining earlier, uh, I'm always looking in the back areas, uh, kind of got my eye on a Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, I shouldn't disclose the price, but I will. They, they got a thousand on it. I don't think it's advertised. Uh, I haven't stopped and spoke to them yet. Still debating. But yeah, it might be nice to just have a junk four wheel drive for the winter. Uh, if it snows, <laughs> global warming and everything. Okay, uh, another dead street. So we're just going to keep right on trucking. Nice camper. Yeah, that's what I need right there. But if I had a nice camper, how would I pull it? I have no truck. And a Pathfinder just wouldn't do the trick. Pathfinder be okay driving in the snow, stuff like that. Uh, maybe even off-road fun a little bit but they're small SUVs <clears throat> and the newer ones uh, come with a variety of problems or so I understand let's just get right out of here get to our next neighborhood But yeah, maybe a Tahoe. Uh, I'm kind of fond of the uh, Suburbans. Uh, nice Panther car. Nice. 
Yes, I like that. Okay, we got people up here. Be right back. Good afternoon, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. Looks like we got a old Suzuki in line four. Nice project. Uh, not sure what they're asking on that, uh, but we'll definitely keep that in mind. Uh, one of the things Fat Boy Jim does on route, yeah, I just passed uh, another truck in the alley that's not really advertised on Marketplace. Them's the deals I. I really like. I really truly enjoy. Uh, but yeah, today we're running some routes. Stay with us. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. Thank you very much and stay tuned. Alright, so we're back again. Uh, if I keep the camera rolling, we just might kill a little Daytona there. I'm not real big on those, honestly, but I do like the yellow ones. I'm just not big on the Hemi motors. Uh, they develop a tick. They call it the, the death tick, uh, where the camshaft gets wallered out, and the uh, lifter and the, and the hooch bobber, and, uh, well, that's what happens. Okay, we still got some time here. Let's... Let's go up in some of the better parts of this neighborhood and see what we see. Because you just never know in Newark, Ohio, what you'll come across. I mean, let's just be honest. This is not one of the better neighborhoods where I'm from. Not the worst, but probably not the best either. I think that's where Jesse was living. But yeah, we're just gonna shoot this neighborhood real quick and uh, see what we come across. You just never know. And, and Talking about vehicles, because we talk about vehicles a lot on this channel, uh, and I just want to say this, and I don't want to disrespect anybody, but just because you put a, uh, a Harley sticker on your truck or car does not give it more value, okay? Let's just be clear on that. Uh, you don't earn extra money selling a vehicle by putting Harley stickers on them, okay? Don't do that. Don't be misrepresented that that even is a viable thing, okay? Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to run this neighborhood here, see what we got, maybe some potentials. It's one of them neighborhoods, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's been hit and miss all day long. But at the end of the day, we do, do pretty well. Uh, there's been a lot of crime in this end of town. Uh, looks like we got possibly some runners. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much and stick with us. Let's see what we can do here. We got a big shepherd. Like 250 pounds. Oh, old 
Is that a golf club's in the trash? Huh. See, now you pick up items and repurpose them. Now we got some kids here, but I don't see no adults. They're just little ones. They're all going back in. So we're not going to... just about going to do it today. We appreciate your time. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. But definitely like, share, and subscribe. Help us out here. We'll get some better videos up. Maybe you can see some other events on the ice cream trucks. With that, have a great day. Alright. Good evening, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. If you've stayed with this video thus far, the worst YouTube channel on YouTube, the most horrible videos, uh, I just want to go on record saying I'm sick of this ice cream truck today. I am absolutely had it. I've did good deeds till I can't do good deeds no more. And, uh, well, anyway, it's been one eventful day. So, uh, no, but on a real note, uh, we've did a lot of stuff today. Uh, we just want to get this last video in and uh, conclude our uh, what happens with Fat Boy Jim and, and his partner Esther on the ice cream truck during the regular route. Uh, we're going to pick up a couple more stops here, and uh, that's going to... That's going to wrap it up today. Uh, and we'll go from there. But we will take you on route for the rest of the shift or as much as we can. Uh, I don't really like putting customers on video. At least, I don't know. It just kind of, I know you're loud, but on the same note, I'm not real big about invading people's privacy. So, just stick with us, and we'll see how this goes. We got a couple, uh, that's what I'm doing, hitting Western. Here's our uh, local football field. They're looking pretty dead. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to run it anyway. But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing out here. We sure appreciate your time. And uh, we appreciate all of our subscribers. Uh, and anybody that takes the time to watch some of our horrible videos, uh, you never know what you're going to get here. Oh, project. Could that be our next food truck? I can see it now. Slinging hamburgers right out the side there. I see a Home Depot window installed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That could be. That could be our next food truck. Okay, we got some potentials up here. Uh, be sure to stay with us. Let us know how we're doing. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.